Let's code up um, our solution to Newton's square root approximation a problem that we um, worked out in the previous lecture. This is idle on Windows, although it doesn't matter. It looks the same on Linux, almost the same. Uh, we're gonna save this file as a Python file, and we can name it as, um, well, let's say for example, nsqrt for Newton square root. Dot .py. py is the extension for uh, files that contain Python source code. And um, we're going to start by defining a, a Python function that computes the uh, square of a number. All right, def square, open parenthesis, x, close parenthesis, colon, return x times x. So let's talk about this function definition. First of all, def is a keyword that defines functions. Square is the name of the function and then uh, comes the argument list. X is the only argument in this case. Then we have a colon which signals the body of the function, the beginning of the body of the function. And then in this case the body consists of a single statement, return. Now what's important is a tab or a space um, white space in general is very important in Python and um, uh, indentation is used to distinguish various logical blocks of, of your code. So there's no curly braces or parentheses. So let's um, uh, define the same function in C. So in C, first of all, I would have to make a commitment to the type. So I would have to say int square int x, open curly braces, and then I would have to say return x times x. Oh, I'd semicolon and then close the curly braces. Or I would say uh, double uh, square uh, double x and then open curly braces uh, then return x times x. I would basically make another commitment on the type or I could use a templatized uh, definition of this function. Notice that there is no typing. Uh, there is no type information in the Python definition. That's just because, uh, so for example, this is uh, not a legal, uh, syntactically legal function definition, like a saying in text. That's just because Python is one of the so-called um, runtime type uh, languages, uh, runtime typing languages, or dynamic uh, typing languages. Uh, basically, it figures out the types of its values at runtime. So let's define another. Um, function. And this one is called average and it com computes the average of the number. So def average, two arguments, x comma y, then our familiar colon, which signals the beginning of the body of the function, and return x plus y over 2.0. Then let's define uh, the function is good enough that um, checks uh, how good is our guess. So apps is a nin build function. So uh, and uh, a help is uh, for inbuilt function functions. Uh, idle gives you uh, help. So and uh, it just basically says return uh, whether uh, the absolute value of the square of our guess minus n is less than this arbitrary error level that we decided to uh, arbitrarily decided uh, to uh, use in our uh, checking of uh, the goodness of the guess. Then we're going to define the next function, def next guess, uh, guess n, I guess uh, comma n two arguments, and uh, it's basically computing uh, g sub i, and it's uh, the average of the guess n uh, n over guess. So according to the formula in the uh, previous developed in the previous uh, lecture, and finally we're going to define another function n sqrt. And that's going to be our workhorse. So uh, it takes our current guess and n, and then if first we're going to check the goodness of that guess. If is good enough, the guess, then return that guess. Else colon return n sqrt. So that's a recursive call on the next guess. All right, um, and then. Right, so it's basically check the goodness of the guess. If it is good enough, then return it. Otherwise, um, keep going. Right, so this is a multi-column comment. 
right? Uh, match uh, so three uh, single quotes, and then um, matching another matching uh, three single quotes. So we're going to check if the current guess is good enough. Then if yes, we're going to return it. Uh, and uh, otherwise, if not, uh, we'll uh, make uh, another guess or the next guess and um, keep going. So, so that's the essence of this uh, NSQRT uh, function. Right, and I, uh, I guess I forgot to mention as I was uh, doing the C functions that uh, uh, the sharp sign is a single uh, a single comment line in Python. So, and then this is our top level function, uh, Newton square root uh, of n, and that's just going to call nsqrt on 1, which is going to be our uh, guess. So, we're going to just, no matter what the value of n is, our first guess will be 1. Uh, and uh, there is no main in uh, Python, uh, so we're just going to uh, put two print statements at the end of this file. Uh, a Newton call Newton square root on 2 and uh, print the result and then Newton square root on 3 and uh, uh, let's uh, do F5 and run this module in the Python shell so hit F5 and oh there are two uh, numbers the first one is our approximation of the square root of 2 and the second is the approximation of the square root of uh, 3 so let's import uh, the math module, that's the inbuilt module, and call the inbuilt function square root. So that's the uh, result of calling uh, the square root, the inbuilt uh, function square root on 2, which is pretty close to our approximation. And this is the inbuilt function math.square root on 3, which is very close to our approximation too.